I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted. And today we're going to be talking about clouds. I've had some requests for clouds. How do you do clouds? What are the clouds? How do the clouds work? So I'm going to be giving out my cloud particles for free at the Snowstorm Discord CC channel. You can go pick them up up today however the cloud textures i use are licensed and so i am not giving the texture with it you need to get your own texture uh, how i'm going to set up the particle file is i am going to have in it the camp smoke as the clouds which look pretty bad but You'll just have to deal with it. You can go build your own uh, cloud atlas. Um, I have a guide on how to do this. It's pretty simple. You can even use GIFs if you wanted to use some GIFs out there. Make sure you're using legal uh, assets that you own and have rights to. Don't steal other people's stuff without permission. Uh, and if you have permission, then it's not stealing. But pretty much this is what it is. It's just a particle it's really big as you can see the square that you normally are working on is right there and so you're just making this really large particle um, I have it as a thousand by a thousand by 50 is the spawn shape box and then I'm putting the cloud somewhere between you know 100 and 800 and they kind of fade in and out as they go. You can look through the particle and see what you want. You can change different things. One of the requests was to change the light. You can definitely come down here and click on the gradients and change how the uh, the clouds uh, fade in and out. If you want to have some more color in there, you could have some angry clouds for when it's uh, stormy out or whatever you want. You also could make them uh, last longer. You can do whatever you want with them in here with all these fancy settings. Uh, but pretty much if you want to use this for yourself, you're going to add in a texture or you can just use the default uh, campfire smoke texture to get started. Um, but you would change the texture here. You would change the name there and you'd make sure to put your texture in the particles texture folder. Then, because it's animated, you need to update a few things. This number and this number need to match the actual texture size that you're using. And this number needs to match the size of the UV. So what's happening here is uh, this is going to use this randomizer to pick a different spot on the atlas for each particle instead of how we typically do it uh, where we're playing an animation we don't want to play this one and then this one and then this one and then this one we want to go from here and then we want to skip to here and then we want to maybe pick this one and then we want maybe want to pick that one maybe, maybe we want to pick this one and so that's what this guy right here is doing so that's about it. That's how we get this all set up. Uh, have this fancy, nice clouds. Now, one of the secrets that you probably don't know on how to spawn this is if you spawn this um, using a player entity or something like that, then you're actually going to be getting uh, playing it on the client side, which doesn't go very far. You can't see it very far. So if you do want to be able to see it at really far distances, then you, you want to spawn the clouds up in the sky with a function. And so what I have going on is I have my player running a BPAC, or you could use timers or some other method. You could even use a command block. And then all it is is f using a particle command uh, to spawn that particle way up in the sky. Uh, do keep in mind that your render distance controls how far up you can see so if your render distance is you know five or ten then you're not going to be able to see very far up and you may not even be able to see the clouds right now I'm on 98 so you can see I can see a crazy amount of stars up there those stars are also particles in the same method that the clouds are so now that you know how to do the clouds you can also do stars as well but if I come in here and I turn down my render distance to something really low, 
say, 12. Look how few stars I see now. I'm still seeing some of my, cl uh, my clouds, but I'm not seeing very many stars at all because they're just up there. So one of the things you could do is move the stars or the clouds lower um, to the player, just make them a little bit closer. But pretty much that's it. That's how you do clouds in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I am Cyberax with outlandishly crafted and if this has been helpful please like and subscribe ring that bell we definitely need that watch time hopefully we can get the channel monetized in the next four or five months um, and that will help out some if you're a partner or are doing marketplace stuff we definitely could use sponsors to help support the amount of time it goes into making these guides if you're profiting off this information, it definitely would be helpful if you could put some of that profit back into the system to keep the system going. Uh, if you have any questions, you can check out outlandishlycrafted.com. You can check out the YouTube channel. You can go to the Block Bench Discord. There's also a Snowstorm Discord. If you're doing particles, you should be using Snowstorm, and you should be in the Snowstorm Discord. That's where I'm going to put these particles up there. So thanks for watching, and hope you like it. If you have any other requests or comments or something you'd like to see different, and you really like this, Throw a comment, and it always gives good encouragement to wake up in the morning and see a comment saying, oh, that looked good, or, hey, we used this in our pack, or whatever. Just let it know. So thanks for watching.